Hello and welcome to the third and final episode of the Fieldhouse Engineering Rice Rocker Challenge. You join us for the final three matches of the entire competition, including the grand finale. In the previous rounds, Rice Against Time defeated Venus 3. Whoa! And then Rice Rocket. And will now face Grainstorm, who had great success against the Extendatron. Oh, look at that! And then Boxer 3000. The two heavyweights were lowered into the arena to see who can shift more rice in 60 seconds. Right. Ready with the chops? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. So easy, Grainstorm, so easy. Oh. The green storm is slowly going forward. Is it? And actually, I say that. Yeah, I'm not sure maybe it's not. It's going. Yeah, it's going. Well, it's going to the side. It's helping green storm out now. We're going to the other side. It's making very well. Green storm is going forward slowly. I'm down for time here. Okay, how much time have we got on the clock? We've got 25 seconds left. Whoa, 25 seconds left. It's, it's approaching the halfway line. Greenstorm, a lot of it's going underneath. Um, but, it, but it is shifting the power forward. It is shifting the power yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. But it's just a significant part of the right side. Eight, seven, six, five, five, five four, three, two, one, and stop. Done it. Oh my god. Right against time by Simon Hurst, Toby Spaniel. That was a good time. Sidewinder. That was okay. a fun match. But I've really fun match that. Didn't so know which way I was gonna go. You no, know, Grainstorm like could have could have easily clinched it at the end there, didn't it? If it was just a tiny bit quicker, but if it all pushed just a little bit more rice up the hill, you could have yeah, easily yeah. seen it, it was, win. It was a valiant effort, for sure. Yeah. It's gone a long way in the competition. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's done so well. So that result will see Rice Against Time in the final. And facing it will be the better of Henry Sidewinder versus Archimedes. Now in the previous rounds, Henry Sidewinder defeated Robo Rice. And then, Bright White Shover. Oh, but it is doing enough to push the oh. scale! And Archimedes came out on top against Shovelbot. Oh, oh. oh. And then defeated Wheel.STL oh. to claim its place in the semi final. The rice was scraped perfectly into position, and the two remaining semi finalists were lowered into the arena. This is huge, yeah. Everything's to play for now. Uh, yeah. People have spent months building these things, loads of design iterations. Yeah. So many. Comes down to one battle. This, this is, is it. Big. Ready when you are. We got a good view Eight, of the order as three, well. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. the back. Henry oh, side got one day. Pushing, he's oh. gripping it properly. He's doing oh. that as intended. But the order is also working. Oh, it's on. Is he going to slip though? Is he oh. Oh, it's trying, it's not working. It's not working. Yeah, the wheels slipping. Yeah, the wheels are slipping. The wheels are slipping. But obviously, it's not reading the same again. It's not reading. Oh, no. That it's over current. So it's not registering. Yeah. You're going to go on for a second, but it didn't. Yeah. Push it. I think these wheels are a bit too, a bit too small. Seconds. It doesn't look. Oh, it doesn't look. No. It's just going to keep spinning. Don't think he's going to do it. The whole thing is also a bit of an angle as well. So I'm not sure about. No, 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 that's the no, 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 that's worked well there. And after that stellar performance from Henry Sidewinder, all we have left now is the grand finale. Which, yeah, it, that, this one hasn't had any problems gripping, whereas this one has. Yeah, it's I, fun, I feel like if, Sine, if he had a curved front, like more of a shovel front, to give it a bit of downforce and dig into the rise, that's probably all he'd need to make it stop back, back, like back yeah. gripping. Yeah, I, th I think it's going to be really, it's a really interesting mm. battle. Yeah. Here we go then. The grand finale. Three. Oh, no, no, no. Ready to Two. Chocolate. One. Go. Oh! Yes! Oh! My first time! He's currently winning! He's gonna do it back! Yes! Oh, he's gonna do it back! He's gonna do it back! Oh, 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 he's
Someone has saying says he has no nails left. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks everyone for entering. It's been a really fun competition, hasn't it? We've had so many great entries again. It's been such a ridiculous competition. Yeah. So close to the end there. Uh, still kind of processing it um, myself. So yeah. No. Anyway, we boiled down to these four though. Yeah, so uh, in fourth place, we had Grainstorm by Alan Quinn. Mm. Really fun entry this one, flinging rice all over the place. It's, lot, it's what we like to see. Uh, it did a really good job at flinging rice, picked up a lot of rice. Yeah. Very impressive engineering on this one. Congratulations, 100 pounds on your way. Yeah. Third place here, we have a familiar face with uh, Tony Blythe with Archimedes. Um, he's obviously you know, programmed it himself, got CPU on board, uh, mm. lots of fancy electronics. And when it worked, it worked so well. It was, um, it was really powerful. It had a bit of a temperamental phase in the middle there. But um, yeah, I mean, it was just amazing to watch, wasn't it? Just ate the rice, consumed it, and then shifted it on. Uh, it was so, so good. 200 pounds on the way to you, Tony, for that amazing entry. In second place, we had Darren and Sophia Rodriguez's entry. Yeah. Um, Henry Sidewinder. Henry Sidewinder. Um, again, was, this was a really impressive entry. It whole, the whole body split apart using a clever scissor mechanism and it pushed like 99.9% .9 of the rice. And in, in the final, the like, you know, this was the favorite, wasn't it? This was the one, this is the one to beat. And um, yeah. but it was so close. And yeah, it did perform so well, it was mm. right up to the wire. And um, anyway, yeah. you got second place. You got, still got second place. Fantastically engineered. And yeah. um, that's uh, 300 pounds yeah. coming your way. Well done. So in first place, he's entered loads of our competitions. It's the great Simon Hunt and Toby the Spaniel. Um, yeah. And his entry is called? Rice Against Time. Rice Against Time. Yeah, it was, it was just super quick, wasn't it? Yeah. The wheels just bashed themselves out to gain traction on the edges, straight out of the blocks, pushed it within about Powerful. four seconds right to the end. It has too much power, does a bit of, bit of forward, forward roll, and then it um, comes back and uh, sits in its starting position waiting to go again. Yeah, um, so it won and it did some showboating. And it resets itself. So right, right you can't argue box. with this thing. It's an absolute winning design. Yeah. It was amazing to watch. Absolute nail-biting final. Amazing to watch and... Proper feat of engineering this. Yeah. With just parts in his shed. Anyone can do it. So it proves anyone can do it, doesn't it? Yeah, um, you can do it. All you need is a spaniel yeah. and a shed yeah. and uh, you're good to go. Exactly. So uh, congratulations, Simon and Toby. Yeah. Uh, 400 the prize pounds. is yours, 400 pounds coming straight to you uh, for that amazing entry. And uh, we hope to see loads of entries for the next competition. Yeah.